Hi, I'm Chad at the Ambic booth in Embedded World 2025, and I'm honored to introduce one of Ambic's preferred partners. Can you tell us a little about yourself, sir? Hi, Chad. Thanks for inviting me today. I'm Stefan Hasbeck. I'm the director for Vital Sign Monitoring at AMS Ostrom. In the last 10 years, I was basically developing the application along with partners, customers, and a great development team. And we basically have enhanced the performance of the devices which enrich uh, and detect the vital sign parameters of your body, basically to help the end users live healthier and longer. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Thank oh, you. That's yeah, that's <laughs> beautiful. So why AMS Osram? What makes you guys special? Well, we're the only supplier in the market basically offering all components needed for such an application. So we have our LEDs, mm -hmm. for example, the SFH 7018 or our great photo diodes, and what I usually call the heart of the application, the analog front end, yes. which basically drives the LEDs, read out the photo diode. So basically what we can do inside this company as we own all key components for the vital science solution, we can fine tune each component to each other so that we have an optimized, high performing and efficient system there. Oh, that's wonderful. I love the word efficiency because that's really the heart of what Ambic is about, exactly. right? Bringing efficient compute to the edge on Correct. small batteries. Yes. So um, speaking of battery powered applications, what, what market segments have you all been successful in? Where, where, uh, where well, should our viewers be? What kind of applications should they be looking so for? So with regards to vital sign monitoring, mm. um, we are basically everywhere where you can find us. So we're in TWS devices, we are in rings, we are in, um, smart watches and fitness bands everywhere where you can find AMS Ostrom in there. Wonderful. And I mean, that's the key thing now also together with Ambic, I would say, yes. is that really, if you have these applications where you do a heart rate monitoring or a vital sign monitoring, and you want to really be, have an application which is power consuming because you have uh, the LED driving and the uh, algorithm converting it, this is where Ambic is really strong. So I really like this partnership here with Ambic bringing this to next level and for our customers, ac actually helping them to, to have a longer on time and a greater user experience. Wonderful, and by this collaboration, we're really helping create end solutions, right? Correct. We're not allowing customers to go and figure this out on their own, we're providing solutions. So. Exactly, and we're simplifying this for yeah. customers who really want to enter this area or, uh, or look for someone to talk to. So you don't want to have 20 um, links, you want to have two or three links and people who have a real system understand it. Wonderful. So you mentioned the finger, you mentioned right. the wrist, you talked to the ears. Exactly. What, what about these things? That's the future. This Smart is, glasses. of course, also there, um, the trend goes in this direction that this market is growing and also with the need of this market growing, you also want to assess vital parameters okay. for various applications, right? If you're in your virtual world, you want to have, you want to understand how you behave or how, how your body behaves mm. on this virtual world, right? For example, as a safety feature. Wonderful. Where is your company headed from a technology standpoint? What can we expect from you in the next year? So we're basically further developing ourselves in this area. So fine tuning our LEDs and photo diode, and again, making this next step so that all components for this application match. Awesome. With regards to the rest of the company, well, we have a lot of fields where we're working in, and I think where we can also extend our partnership with, because power sensitive applications, there are many out there. For Fantastic. example, smoke detectors. Absolutely, yeah, that's exactly. an exciting space where I think yeah, exactly. that we can bring more edge compute to, to, that, to that problem. You have wonderful optical solutions with dual optical paths, as I understand exactly. it, to look for slow burning and fast burning fires, and then we can bring our edge intelligence to that problem. Right. And all yeah. this basically then connects again with the IoT world we're living in at the moment. Right? Yeah, wonderful. So that's, that's really great. So the future is rather bright for our two companies together, but more exactly. importantly for end customers, right? Yes. Who right. are able to access these solutions, these joint reference designs that we're creating together. Exactly. And this is our goal, right? Uh, we want to basically help our customers to get with their products a mm. greater user experience. And then the end customer will be extremely happy with that. Wonderful. So uh, let's talk about our first major collaboration, which we're quite proud of. We jointly won an award here at Embedded Thanks. World. Do you want to you want to comment <laughs> on it? We're the, the award's on the Ambic wall, but you guys played a very key role in it as well. Uh, exactly. And uh, this is also what I'm referring to the heart of it, right? The algorithm, uh, the um, analog front end, the yep. AS7058, basically 
is the driver to drive the LEDs and photodiodes. Yeah. But without the AMBIC chip, we would not be able to make this happen, right? Because sure. this computing power and the AI edge in the algorithms is really something which pushes this part really to this award now, I would say. Fantastic. And we'll uh, we'll show our viewers the heart kit next. Right. Um, and uh, for those that, that aren't aware, so it won uh, Best in Show from the Embedded World Community Award uh, for AI. So we're, we're yeah, yeah, just very thrilled, um, you know, uh, recognizing Ambic's value in the AI space, sure. yeah. uh, doing significant amounts of compute on very, very low energy. Exactly. So. I mean, this is also the feedback I receive from customers yeah. when we talked about our partnership. It is extremely and well noticed in the industry. And all these customers say, you two together will bring the future. And we're hearing the same thing. We have so many joint customers uh, that are already engaged with AMS Oz Ram that are thrilled that we're working together right. to make their lives easier for their next generation exactly products. Right. So uh, yeah, I think there's just a lot of value uh, that we'll, we'll be able to bring to the market. All right, so let's have a look at the HeartKit uh, demo platform that has just won best in show here at Embedded World 2025. This is the system here. Um, it consists of two boards, the Apollo 510 evaluation board, and we've connected it up to the AMS Osram analog front end board. Can you tell us a little bit about your chip and how we're getting the signals from your board um, into your chip that we then send on to ours? Sure, Chad, no problem. So let me introduce a little bit uh, uh, this board to you. So in the front, you will see basically the LEDs lighting up. These are the LEDs together with the photodiodes, which will basically pick up your heartbeat or your SpO2 SP level. Yes. So, and they are basically driven by the um, analog front end, which is on the uh, on the board, the AS7058. So this uh, analog front end drives the LEDs and reads out the photodiode. But as you see, the board is a little bit larger than just the optical components. So we also have uh, electrodes there so that you, for example, can also do an electrocardiogram with the analog front end as an additional feature of it. Wonderful. Right. So we're sending all that data over a serial interface to Apollo 510. Correct. Exactly. And then that's where a lot of additional magic happens. So you do all the hard analog yeah. heavy lifting for us. Right. You give us some nice data that you digitize and, send and then it over. we go to town. So uh, I'll show you a little bit about the uh, the GUI that we built. We're seeing uh, kind of the real-time CPU utilization for an always-on uh, ECG analysis system. Uh, you can see the average CPU utilization is 6% wow. here. It's really low. Um, and what this is pretty fascinating is that if you're running off of a small 2032 battery and you want to have a heart health analysis system doing continuous ECG analysis, you're able to run for almost 40 days off this of this platform. This is wonderful. This is really so, great. Yeah, we're loving this. Uh, the AI throughput about 30 inferences per second. That's what the IPS means. Um, and that's how many AI inferences we do each second off of a 250 megahertz processor. So the, the latency is quite low yep. um, and we're, we're really thrilled with the amount of performance that we're able to achieve leveraging our Cortex M55 on Apollo 510, along with the Helium Vector Math Acceleration Engine that helps accelerate our AI. So there's three AI algorithms actually running in parallel on the heart kit. So we take your ECG data stream and then we denoise it. ECG is a very small signal I've learned correct. from you is extremely susceptible to noise, right? Exactly, yes. Correct. So so we've got a bunch of complex AI that runs and it helps to clean up that ECG signal so we can do some good, uh, some good processing of the okay. data. The, the next step is we segment that data. We run it through a segmentation algorithm. It breaks this raw time domain data into what are called in the medical community P waves, QRS waves, and T waves. And then by looking at the relative amounts of time and amplitude in each of these segments, and you can see the kind of a pie chart showing all of that data here, we're able to then determine what type of heart condition the person okay. may, be, may be having. Uh, the demo is set up with some pre-recorded data here so that we can cycle through various known conditions and then display what, uh, what, what type of arrhythmia uh, is occurring on the patient. Um, for your PPG sensor, we're using your algorithms. Um, okay. It's an area that we're still researching, we're still creating algorithms. So for now, we're using your, your classic uh, algorithms there, which are very good at calculating the heart rate, the heart rate variability, the pulse rate. So this is all AMS OSRAM here, SPO2 levels, uh, PPG quality. So um, this is a really nice merger of your software and our software and both of our hardware as well. And it's incredible to see that your AI algorithms plus our algorithms on the microcontroller 
only consume that little uh, energy. Exactly. That's this just, is that's amazing. Just crazy. This is really crazy. Yeah, yeah. And the and energy efficiency of our combined solutions. Is exactly. And this is really something which brings value to our end customers because this is what they're looking for, right? The end user doesn't want to charge every day. They want to wear this device and nearly forget where they put their charger. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's great. Yeah, and it allows Wonderful for to see that. more compact sensors as well, where exactly. if somebody wants to have a, a sensor that's on the body that maybe doesn't even want to accommodate this large of a battery, they can still uh, scale Outside the battery down correct. significantly and have a patch on body that's that's much smaller than the patches that you're seeing uh, right. today from some competing e solutions. E exactly, and as you uh, as we talked about it, right, TWS rings or or glasses, they don't have any space where yeah. you can pack a big battery. Yeah, you can't necessarily so, even fit a small e battery like that. Exactly, and, and this, this would look weird on a, on a glasses. So <laughs> this is really great to see that yeah, yeah. with this amount of power you have in your chip, sure. we can really reach that far with regards to days and users. So this is just the beginning uh, of our right. of our collaboration together. I think we've got uh, great things in store. We're going to be working to kind of make this all easier to connect up together. <laughs> yeah, uh, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will do this for That's sure. That's kind of one of the next steps. And then lots of cool applications we'll be working on for sure. together down the road. That's wonderful. Awesome. Chad, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thanks again for Thanks. coming by. Thanks, and yeah. congratulations again to your award. And thank you for helping us achieve this award. No yeah. problem. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> cool. Okay, see you. Cheers.